Hey guys, um, so we took a road trip last night and what's going on is we're looking for apartments and stuff because I'm thinking of moving uh, to a new province and provinces for you guys who don't know are like uh, states or kind of like territories but here in Canada. Um, so yeah, it would be like a big change for me in my life and we're just about to head out and look at some of those. It's it's still pretty early. Um, I, I was up really early. I couldn't really sleep. We, we stayed uh, somewhere different for the night, so it was it was kind of weird. Go ahead. You can drive. And um, yeah, so I figured I'd talk to you guys a bit about that. Uh, I took some videos, which I'll show right after this, and uh, talk a little bit about the history. Uh, because we'd be moving to an island, and it's a, it's a really beautiful place, uh, Prince Edward Island. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, so hopefully this, this can work. We're going to look at apartments right now, like I said, and uh, see what we can afford and see what's nice around. So I will uh, be back in a sec with uh, some commentary over the, the terrain and the land here because it's, it's like I said, it's quite a nice place. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys after. All right, hey guys, uh, here's the footage. So, this is uh, driving up to the bridge. It's called the Confederation Bridge. Uh, it connects uh, New Brunswick to uh, Prince Edward Island, PEI, or I'll, I'll refer to it as the island from now on. Um, it's an eight mile bridge or um, I think it's 13 kilometers, something like that. And um, it, it takes about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to traverse. And it is the longest over ice bridge because it does the water does freeze during the, the winter. Um, and it's the longest bridge that we have in Canada. Uh, so it was quite it was quite a thing when this thing was built um, back in 97, I believe, because we used to go to the island every summer. And we would have to drive here. It's it's about a hour and a half or so drive um, from from where I live presently, and we'd have to drive there and board a ferry with our vehicle, and it would take uh, quite a long time uh, to cross the kind of the the ocean on the ferry to get to the island, and then we would just you know we'd board it with our vehicle and then go around the ferry there i remember be, there being some arcades and stuff when i was young i, I think there was like kind of a, a little gaming room thing um and then you would get off on the other side with your vehicle and just kind of drive away or whatever and that was that was the only way to get there but now that they've built the bridge um the population you know has boomed and like the jobs and the imports and exports are, are way easier now so uh it's really it's really awesome like it's grown a lot since the the construction of this thing and like I said I think I think it's a 97 if I if I have my stats correct but uh it just it, it made it it made it way easier like we we'd go once a year because there were a couple theme parks there that that was like really cool for me as a as a kid um and there was this really nice place that we stayed at every year um when I was younger with my parents and even my grandparents uh, in Cavendish um, for, for that name may be familiar uh, for some of you guys because uh, PEI is actually a um, really big uh, potato exporter I guess so um, Cavendish is a company of like fries and, and different potato stuff and, and whatnot so um, there, there is a lot of farmland in here uh, on the island and I will show some of that later it's it's really quite incredible uh, now here's the downtown area I didn't get to uh, get a video leading up to our apartment, uh, unfortunately, uh, the one we found anyways. But uh, here's just a, a tiny bit of the downtown area on a really nice day. Uh, it was two of the hottest days of the summer and I got to spend it there, which was really nice. And uh, if you can see right there, there's a, like an arts museum. And I just I just missed it because I, I realized last minute. But there was a uh, a symphony of like um, like tubas and trumpets and stuff like wind instruments, and they were playing the Game of Thrones theme song. And I really wish I could have gotten there and like gotten a video of it and stuff like that. But we were just so busy apartment hunting and everything that it, it, we didn't have time for all the extra stuff. But I still really really enjoyed uh, my time nonetheless, like going to restaurants and stuff when we could, um, and just 
hanging out and and getting familiar with the town again because it had been so long since I had been down here um, I haven't been I hadn't been to the island in about six or seven years so coming back and then going to this area um, the capital was really interesting and and really cool to see the downtown how busy it was and whatnot compared to some of the rest of the island where it's all farmlands and stuff so uh, you, you'll see the big like contrast and all that stuff and I, I find it really really interesting and really it's a really beautiful place um, one thing we got like some statistics on like crime rate and stuff how l just low it is um, so it's a, a really good place to live and uh, just in a minute here, you'll see kind of the a little bit of the neighborhood, close to the neighborhood where we'll be living. So um, right here, there was a detour, so I, I got to uh, I got to catch a little bit of what it looks like. It's a bit a bit oldish, um, not like super old, but uh, the the houses in the neighborhoods a bit older, more matured, but uh, still a really nice place to live. And it's really close to everything. Like it's close to uh, the university close to all these like restaurants in the downtown and whatnot it's not like it's not super far away so this is the the residential area about where uh, the apartment complex is so um really really nice place but here is i guess my favorite place just there's something about the colors and you know the greens and all the the farming and all the fields that i really like i mean you may you may not be a fan of the smell so much but all the animals and everything we saw and unfortunately it's the one thing i wanted to get the most just to show you guys how many animals were out but the they were pretty much mostly on the left side and i didn't have my camera out like recording every like almost every time so i missed a bit uh, you'll see like a tiny bit of cows underneath the rail if you look closely enough i'll just mention it when it happens um, and right at the end i got a couple horses that's all i got but like we saw llamas and goats and uh some sheep, a bunch of cows, some like Angus beef cows, like a, a bunch of black cows, all, all the different colors. Right here, you see a little bit of, of horses, and I, or it might have been a cow, I'm not sure there, um, but right underneath that rail. But yeah, I, it's so unfortunate that I missed that. But I, I mean, we got lots of farm fields and lots of nice greens and contrasts and colors and everything, so um, it looked really good. Unfortunately, um, about... 20 or so minutes after I took this it started raining uh, so it wasn't super sunny like the rest of the time but uh, you you get to see just how really beautiful and colorful it is nonetheless so that's that's what I love about it like when you're not in the the city and you're just moving from one to another it's all farmlands uh, so there's a lot of job there and like I said since the bridge um, is was built there's a, a lot more of that like a lot more industries but a, a lot more life coming to the island more tourists it's a really really big tourist attraction um there's this cows thing where it's like uh, ice cream and and whatever that's really popular on the island too um but here are the horses and apart from that i just want to say like i i really enjoyed my my time here it was really really fun and we got to find an apartment that if everything works out i'll be able to move there um you know obviously i'll continue creating content during the summer and then in september hopefully i get to move there if not maybe october november uh and yeah it was just a really great time and i wanted to share my experience with you guys so i hope that was enjoyable uh if so leave a like and comment if not you know dislike and comment whatever tell me what you didn't like um I, you know, I don't have a problem with that. If you'd like to see more of it too, um, you can, you can talk to me or if you have any questions as well. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, but thanks for watching guys. And I'll catch you later. Bye.